Hello, lassies and laddies. Uncle Hamish here again. This is SC Controller video series uh, part two. We are going to make a simple profile today. Uh, I did a brief introduction in a previous video. Uh, you can go back and have a look at that if you want. Uh, today we're going to make a simple profile just to control this game here, uh, which you can see on your screen, which is uh, Manic Miner on the being emulated on a ZX Spectrum. Uh, the reason I've chosen this game uh, is that it's fairly simple controls and there's only a few of them and it's keyboard controls. Obviously the emulator itself has the options to remap controls and things but the, that's irrelevant for now. This is just a, an exercise in showing you how the SC controller operates. So this is Manic Miner, uh, a game on the ZX Spectrum from the 1983, very early game, which has a wonderful rendition of the Blue Danube at the start. And the reason I'm going through this is there's a little uh, text scroller coming up and I want to show you that. So it'll tell you here in a second, uh, after the copyright notice, you'll see that the controls are based on rows on the keyboard. So the top row of letters, Q to P, are left and right. Bottom row is jump. First half of the middle row is pause. Second half of the middle row is to turn the in-game tune on and off. And that is it. That's as, as simple as that. That's the controls. So... Uh, I'm going to start up the game by, uh, as it says there, pressing enter, so press enter on the keyboard. Um, now I'm going to use, uh, as I say, top row, so they alternate Q and W will go left and right. Uh, and, and also, you know, that repeats along, doesn't matter. For today we're going to use my keys, which are Q and W, and bottom row M to jump. So that's what we're using at the moment. There's those keys, and you can see I can control it absolutely fine with the keyboard. Okay, now I'm going to pause the emulator there, just so it doesn't do anything. Now what we're going to do is we're going to assign the left and right on the thumbstick to be uh, the left and right movement and B for jump, so the B button on the controller for jump. And also just to add a few more things to let you see how it all works, we're going to add a pause button to the back button on there and on the start button there we're going to make it start the game up and also uh, this incidentally I've discovered from experimentation uh, we'll also switch the music on and off so that's killing two birds with one stone there uh, obviously the reason for that is you don't want to be sitting back on the couch with all your controls set up and not have the ability to uh, start the game without having to get up and go back to the keyboard so we'll add all those things so that's basically five controls left right jump pause and start the game Let's click new profile, and let's just call it ZX Spectrum. Now I'm going to start with a completely empty profile. You can duplicate the current profile and start from there as a starting point, but we want to have a nice clean one, so there we go. So you'll see now everything is marked as not set. With the exception of one thing, which is the menu, the menu button on your controller is used, I'll show you to bring the on-screen display uh, pop-up over there, on and off. So uh, it puts that on. You can actually reassign it, um, but that's, you know, by default it leaves that there, and it's quite handy, it's uh, consistent. So we've chosen the thumbstick from the uh, menu, so that's your input uh, option. We're going to give it a name, we're going to call it um, Movement because this is going to be your uh, left and right movement, obviously. And we want it to be outputting a D-pad type control. So we're going to basically use this as a digital left-right controller. Now, there's a lot of options and things in here. Don't worry about them just now. We're going to stick with simple D-pad and we're going to choose the left output. Now, there are a lot of options there again. We'll give it a name left. So, oh, left. And again, it's uh, all sorts of options. Again, we're not going to touch them just now. We're going to key our button. All we're going to do there is grab a key and press Q for left. That's it. And you can see now buttons, keys, Q. Key, Q, sorry. And say OK. And you'll see that's got left there. So we will choose a button from there. We'll use W. Oh, we'll give it a name, of course. I forgot. Uh, call that right, so now key W is right. So we've now set our left and right, and as you can see from there, up and down have nothing on them. Left and right are Q and W, so that will send 
Q when we move left, uh, W when we move right on the stick. Okay, that, and let's save it as we go along. This little icon here, uh, let's, as you can see, it says changed there next to the name of the profile. This little icon here saves the changes. So we've done that. So we now have our left and right on the stick. Now let's demonstrate that that works fine um, by unpausing the emulator. And there we go. We can now move left and right. Now you see nothing else does anything still. Okay, now we want obviously a jump button, so let's uh, choose that. Now there's no group here because it's a single thing, so we just go straight to putting in the single thing. Key or button, we will grab a key, we'll make it uh, in this case M, so one of the bottom row keys. And okay that, and save the changes. Now we should have complete control over the character. So there we go, we've got left and right, and jump. There we go, so we now have control of the character using the joypad. To save us having to go up from the couch to press enter to start every time, we're going to set the start button there uh, as, and I'm also going to put music there, because it will toggle the music with the enter key as well in the game. Uh, key or button, and we will grab a key, we'll grab the enter key, click OK, Again, it's just a digital on-off single switch, so there's no grouping or anything. Then save that. Now, if I go back to the emulator and show you the effect of that one. Um, let's get up there out of the way. Uh, now, you hear it switches the music on and off. And also, if I get us killed, let's get us killed. So we can start the game again. There we go. So he's dead. We'll go back to the menu. And now, press that, boom, we're in the game. Awesome. Final thing to add is a key for pausing the game. Uh, now, let's just call it simply pause. Grab a button now. I remember, um, I mentioned earlier, the first half of the left, sorry, the left-hand side, left-hand half of the middle row of the keyboard is pause. So we'll just use A, okay, anything really. So grab a key, A, and OK that, save that. And now our ZX Spectrum uh, profile should control everything in Manic Miner for us. So all we're doing there is translating the inputs from the controller through SC controller to uh, outputs that can be read by the game. In this case, just the equivalent of keyboard presses. I do hope you've enjoyed this and it's been of some help to you. Look out for the next part of the series, part three, coming up soon where we will delve a bit deeper into SC Controller.